Oh dear heavenly lord, please help me from getting chased by these evil, evil monsters. They're starting to creep me out. I mean, just look at him. Look at that little smirk he has. It's so cute. Ah! Hey guys, Snails are public here with another mod showcase, and today I'll be showcasing the Cersei's Weapons mod. At least I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I get that name wrong, because I'm going to be getting it wrong throughout the entire showcase. But yeah, that's, that's how I'm going to say it, is Cersei's uh... Weapons. So yeah, and this mod was made by the great Cersei um, himself, herself, itself. I'm not really sure if, if, if it's a guy or a girl. I'm guessing it's a guy, you know. But yeah, the great Cersei is the one who made this mod showcase. And it is an awesome mod showcase, I have to say. Let me get out of survival mode here. Um, as you see, there's just so much stuff in it. I have all these chests. I even have one hidden back here, two hidden back here. There's uh, cool stuff that spawns in. There's all these blocks. There's just so much to this mod. Um, it's pretty cool. Anyways, let's uh, let's get right to it. So this mod showcase isn't too long. So yeah. Um, first off, we have this first block right here. Uh, this stupid clock. Really? I am sorry that this uh, the stupid clock had to ruin stuff. Um, we were we were having a great conversation going about this awesome mod, and then just that that clock just wanted to ruin it. And you know, someday I'm going to get rid of that clock. I'm going to just crush it with my bare hairy man feet. I'm just gonna step on it over and over again, and just I'm gonna give it the love of feet. All right, so. Back to the mod. Um, a sinister stone. This is not actually implemented in the game. Anything that says WIP is not really implemented. I mean, it's here, but it doesn't really work. Um, so yeah, this is more for like decoration if you want to use it for creative mode. And it looks the exact same as this next stone, which is black iron. Or next stone. <laughs> black iron. Alright, so this is crafted with black iron ingots, which are made like, like so. Um, get rid of that. And then next up, we have this carved stone here. It's pretty beautiful. All right, this is. I'm guessing this is gonna be more for decoration. I believe you can actually make carved armor out of this, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that later. Um, next is the block of steel. <laughs> this reminds me of Man of Steel movie that just came out. All right, so uh, it is crafted with nine steel ingots, and I'll give you a block of steel. All these look like iron blocks, just to let you know, as you can kind of see. Yeah, I feel stupid for saying that, but whatever. <laughs> so um. Crystals, uh, these spawn naturally underground, you can find them just within caverns, and when you break them, you'll get a variety of different types of crystals, and you can make things like lightsabers, or crystal swords, and just cool things like that. Alright, next is meteorite. So this you can find in giant craters in the ground, which are meteor craters, because a meteor hit there and just went kabooey, and just like blew up, and then there's these random, like, rocks in here. And then there are two of them, even though they are the exact same. Uh, one of these is actually pure, um pure meteorite when you smelt it, and one of these is a meteorite chunk, or meteor. <laughs> one of these is impure, and you will see the crafting and recipes of, like, why you need pure and impure. So, yeah, next we have the ebony ore, and this is very useful for um, quite a few items. Uh, you're going to need it. And, yeah, you can find this naturally underground, and then the last is magnetite ore, and you can find this naturally underground as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the nine blocks that are added into this game. And let's get on to the next um, set of chests and stuff. So these are all items you can get within the game, I guess, really. Um, I'm not 100% sure if you can get uh, most of these yet. I'm not sure if there are randomly spawning mobs. I haven't really found any um, of things with, like, like drakes, like the sea drake, the red drake. Um, I know you can't get the ender dragon skull. I mean, you might be able to. Uh, there's an item over here called the dragon forge, uh, which takes the ender dragon skull to make. And, um, it's not actually really in the game, that's why it says WIP. No, anyways, we'll get on to that later. So yeah, there's all these items. I know for a fact that the pumpkin head shard's there, and the veteran skull is there, and you can make the ebony bone, and then you can make steel bones. Oh, oops, why did I just do that? Alright, um, actually, I think you can get steel bones. Um, anyways, so yeah. Um, so all these you can just find within the game, or you can kill things to get. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not even sure if they are implemented in the game. That's something you're going to have to check up on the forums for, which I will add that in the link, a link to the forums, because this is a really big game, or big game, big mod, may as well be a game, um, and I'm probably going to miss a lot of stuff, so I'm so sorry for that, but yeah. Now let's get started with the actual weapons. Alright, so um, here we go. Check inventory. Let's see what this says. I was too lazy to put all the weapons and armor inside this chest. That is because... My friends, there's way too much weapons and way too much armor. I will take these out right here um, for later, but 
yeah so all of this stuff there's a lot so i'm gonna go over most of the stuff a lot of the stuff you cannot actually like craft normally and i that's why i have all these other chests it's just like a staircase and then a staircase going down and then you just fall and die and yeah happy ending right there but yeah so let us start with the redstone items so here we have like redstone pickaxe um and like redstone axe and like so on and so forth you get that to make a redstone ingot though you need to smelt pieces of redstone so just a normal piece of redstone you smelt it in a furnace or a for not a forge a um ah i can't remember what the other thing now it's really good for me, so smelter so they're pretty much close to the same thing and you will get um redstone ingots and then oops I'm right. oh yeah um <laughs> Redstone ingots here, so then you can make um, items like this, which I'm guessing it has about the durability of probably iron, I'm going to guess, because it's about as common as iron when you go looking for it, really. Um, but anyway, so yeah, just normal items like that, so this is plus six, not quite as good as diamond, but around iron. Okay, so next we have the lapis items, and these are made with la lumps of lapis. Now this is made by, you smelt a block of lapis, because, you I mean, you always get, like, four or five pieces of lapis when you break one block of lapis. So you smelt a whole block of lapis, and you will get these lapis lumps, which you can make into weapons and items. And these, again, are more or less, like, iron. I mean, not quite as good as the redstone ones. They're a little bit less, so maybe slightly more like stone. Not quite that bad, I don't think. I'm not 100% sure on these. I'd really have to check up, and I'm too lazy to do that. So, yeah. Anyways, here is uh, steel. So you need steel to do this. And to get steel, there is a really long <laughs> sequence to get steel. I'm going to go through it right now. All right. So, first off, you're going to have to make the baby carbon dust, the little guys that need to come first, okay? It's kind of like the chicken or the egg, the carbon dust came first, right? So, you're going to make this with coal or charcoal, okay? You get one little baby carbon dust when you add coal. So, it's kind of like a one-parent thing, but anyways... And then, when you take the carbon dust, you're going to need to make a black or a carbon-coated ingot. You take one iron ingot, and you surround it in carbon dust. Now, from there, you must smelt the covered um, ca uh, carbon-coated ingot for inside of a smelter, and you are going to get titanium. It's like a long line of genetics, and yeah, overall, it goes from that to that somehow. I'm, that's shiny, that's not shiny, I don't know. But yeah, that's how you're going to make steel. Bit complicated of a process, but it, it's worth it in the end. This is more or less like iron, too. So I guess it is kind of complicated, but, I mean, it doesn't cost quite... Actually, it costs about the same. Maybe this is slightly better than iron. Anyways. So yeah, the better durability, I'm guessing. Anyways, next up, we have the ebony. So you need the ebony ingots, and that is when you take a smelter and you smelt ebony, which is this ore right there. Um, it looks like it's about to turn to night. So let us make it not turn to night. Oh, why don't keep opening my chest? Just so you sit. All right, and then you can make all these items with the ebony ingots and blah, 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 blah. Meteor items, you take um, meteor ingots. Now to get a meteor, you must smelt um, a piece of meteor, and then you're either gonna get a meteor ingot or an impure meteor ingot. All right, so you smelt these blocks over here, and then you get, oh, dang it, I keep doing that, okay, <laughs> blocks for things like a meteor shovel, that looks pretty sick right there, I like that, all right, so next we have the crystal items, these are made with crystals, so you break a crystal, and then you're gonna get crystals, sometimes you'll get crystal shards to use for the crystal sword, and then so on and so forth for all the rest of this stuff, you know, those look pretty sweet too, next you have the bone blades, all right, you need a steel bone, now to make a steel bone, you need to kill a mob that has steel bones, which is also known as the DS skeleton, I believe. Yes. This guy right here has steel bones. Steel bones. All right. He steals people's bones. Dang it, that was a really bad joke. All right. So you need a steel bone, which you get from him, and then two steel ingots, and that will give you a bone blade. Not bad. Not bad. Crossbane. Is that what it's called? Crossbone? Close enough. You're going to need five steel bones. All right. Bone shovel, kind of a weird recipe. You need four steel bones and a steel ingot. A lot of steel stuff. Bone shovel, 
I just did that. <laughs> bone axe, you're gonna need four and two again. And then bone hoe, three and one. And yeah, I don't think you can make a pickaxe. That's kind of weird. All right, anyways, next is the black. So this is made with the black iron. And to make black iron, you need to smelt this special ore over here called magnetite ore. And that will give you, dang it, I keep doing that over here. Anyways, <laughs> that will give you black iron. And then you can use the black iron to make black iron swords, shovels, axes, pickaxes, hoes, so on and so forth. Okay. Um, I've covered most of the stuff so far that we can't really craft. Okay, these ones that are not actually in the game, I am not even going over at all. Sword of Zerses. Oh, that's nice. 1,500. Okay, I'm not going over any of that. And then a lot of this stuff. Okay, so I can go to the black iron. It's pretty much the same, except this right here. This helmet is made quite a lot differently. And you need eight instead of five black iron instead of, like, for the normal recipe. Okay, and then other than that, it's pretty much the same. And why do I have to scroll down every time? Oh. Okay, so um, I cannot do any of this stuff because they are not, they're implemented in the game, but you cannot craft them, I believe. I could not find anything on the forums anyways for crafting them. All right, but I can do these, and I will do these later. Okay, so we're going to start moving on to the really weird items. First off, um, well, I guess these aren't weird items. These are all the ingots and stuff that I've been talking about. See, there's the impure meteor. Uh, here's all the crystals you can get as long as long along with the crystal shard. This one you have to make and this one you have to make. Okay. Actually no, I don't think you can make a leech stone. I think you have to like find those. Anyways. So we're gonna start with the lightsaber. The blue lightsaber. Okay, now lightsabers are all different. Uh, most of them have about forty eight coal I believe and the blue has the fifty eight so I decided to show you fifty eight. Um, I'll tell you what this means in a second. So you're going to need two steel ingots, one button, uh, one blue crystal, and you're going to need five pieces of glass to make a blue lightsaber. And these things are just sweet because, I mean, it's a lightsaber. Who doesn't want a freaking lightsaber? That is just sick, okay? Sick. All right, so um, sick in the awesome way, by the way. So next is the re uh, reforged katana. This thing is a bit OP in my opinion, but you need to find a broken katana... Okay, you have to find this, and then you need uh, six steel ingots, two iron ingots, and it takes 20 coal. And you know what? Before I do any more, I'm just going to tell you what that means. All right, I'll come right up here. You see this right here? This is a forge. If I took it in my hand, it's a forge. The crafting recipe is like so. I will show you this again later on, because this is probably one of the most important items in the game. You're going to need seven cobblestone, one crafting table, and one furnace. Now, with this forge... When you right-click on it, as you can see, there's like a crafting table pretty much, and then a smelting item. So you take the crafting recipes that I've been showing you for like the lightsaber, you put the amount of coal they need, which all the amounts of coals are on the forums, and I have them next to the items, which I will tell you them um, anyways. So yeah, and then you will get the actual like sword, or whatever you're making. Okay, so if I go back here again, uh, that's why you need the 58 coal, the 20 coal, and yeah. So next up though, um, so yeah, that's that's what that's for. So, anyways, next up on our list of weapons that are harder to make, you have the Kamikaze Katana. This takes six steel ingots, two TNT, and one broken katana, and this thing just blows up. It's pretty awesome. Okay, and that one takes 20. Now then, <coughs> no, I need a water bottle or something like that. That would be nice. Whatever. I'm just gonna I'm gonna make it through this entire Montreal case without dying from no water. Lack of. Uh, thirst and it's already getting to my brain but whatever okay so first up is the double bladed meteor blade now this is crafted with actually oh yeah um you're gonna need four impure meteor ingots one stick and three um meteor ingots and then you're also gonna need a true meteor blade which is this right here which takes um i don't know what is that eight uh, meteor ingots and one stick anyways both of these take 51 coal and when you right-click with the double-bladed meteor blade, you will get the double-bladed meteor, uh, meteor blade. Except it's the awesome version instead of this version. And I believe it might take away, like, nine and a half of your hearts when you click on it. But it makes it awesome. So, you know, who doesn't want to, like, slowly die but become awesomer all at the same time. Anyways, moving on from those, we have the Axe of Nightmares. Now, to craft this, you're going to need five pumpkin head shards, which you get from killing the pumpkin king. Um, two ebony bones, which are crafted like so. You need one steel bone, and then you're going to need eight ebony ingots. 
And then um, you're going to need a bucket of lava inside of the furnace, or the smoke. The forge, blah, 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 whatever it's called. And then to make an ebony bone, you're also going to need a bucket of lava. So you're going to need three buckets of lava to make this thing. But it's it's pretty cool looking. You want to be like a pumpkin guy. Anyways, moving on, we have the leech blade. Now this takes one leech stone, um, seven ebony ingots, and a stick. And then I believe you might be able to take away a little bit of people's health with that. The uh, vamp um, vampiric blade, however will give you, like, when you hit people, you will get uh, one heart, pretty much, um, from them. You pretty much steal their hearts. It's pretty cool. Anyways, you need two ebony ingots, the leech blade itself, um, the leech stone, and then uh, five redstone ingots, all right? And then for both of these, you're going to need nine coal inside of the forge. All right, next is the prototype meteor blade. This takes... <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, this takes some... Um, Six redstone ingots, um, two uh, a netherrack. I haven't been to the nether in a while, almost reading the name there. Yeah, two netherrack and one stick. And then it is made or forged with 28 coal, and that will give you the prototype meteor blade. Okay, next we have the void sword. Um, this one's pretty cool looking. So it will, um, you have, okay, it takes seven obsidian, one eye of ender, and one stick. And then it's forged with 27 coal. All of these have different powers as well, as well. Like, I'm pretty sure this one catches things on fire. I'm not sure. I'm thinking you can teleport with this one. Let me just try. Yep, you can teleport with this one. I guess, right? And then with, like, um, the prototype one here, you can catch things on fire. This one's you sap health. This one you teleport. Um, this one's you just be plain awesome. This one, I can't remember. It's a fire. Um, a lot. Okay, um, and that, that's actually I don't know what I was going to say next. But anyways, um, let's see. What other one was it? Was it the lightsaber? No, no, no. It's one that we haven't gotten to yet. Okay, there's one complicated one that is in that chest. Anyways, so next up is the lightning blade. Shoots lightning. Um. Oh wait, I didn't put the coal in. Just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um. So yeah, uh, I put the items in now. So yep. Anyways, moving on. Um. The lightning blade is crafted with six diamonds, so it's a little bit pricey. Two redstone ingots and one stick, and then you forge it with 27 coal, and it shoots lightning bolts. Pretty sure. It doesn't shoot lightning. Maybe when you hit it, it makes lightning bolts. I'm just making a fool of myself now. Anyways, and then there's the executioner's axe. This is crafted with four stone, or forged, I guess, with four stone, two steel ingots, and three steel bones, and it takes a bucket of lava. That takes them forever. This thing's awesome. 1,500 attack damage. I mean, seriously. It literally is the executioner's plate. So, yeah. Um, I can't believe it's already turning to night again. That was way too fast. So, let's move to this side right here. This is the crystal blade. It is a bit complicated, okay? So, first off, you're going to need these items for this item. So, let's just do these items first to get them over with. You need the crystal, which you take nine crystal shards, and then you get a crystal... And you have to, well, you have to forge it with 50 coal, and then that will make crystal. You can actually make, uh, grow your own crystals, so you can make lightsabers and uh, crystal blades and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, you can start a crystal farm if you want. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, so, and then you're going to need that to craft this. Um, next is the crystallized leech, seed, uh, leech stone, and you're going to need six crystals, two diamonds, and a leech stone. And then it smelts with, or forges with 49 coal, and that's the crystallized leech stone. And then to make the crystal blade, which is pretty sick, um, you, it takes five diamonds, uh, one of the crystallized leech stones, one um, actual crystal, and two blue crystals. And then it's forged with 48 coal. But the really cool thing about this is that you can actually make a little crystal man, I believe. Um, it says so on the forums anyways. I'm not sure if you have to be, I think you have to be in survival mode to make him. But anyways, you get a little crystal warrior for like the duration of the actual sword. You know what, screw it. I'm going to show you guys anyways. This mod showcase is so long, I may as well just show you. Come on, come on. Come on, why aren't you working? Why aren't you working? That's, it's a bit confusing. Anyways, um, that's what it said on the forums anyways, um, that you can make a little crystal guy. So it sounds pretty cool if it, uh, if it works, so. Yeah. Anyways, next up in this chest over here, these are the items that are not implemented in the game, but are awesome. So, all these ones you cannot actually craft. Uh, we have the black lightsaber, 1,500 damage. 
We have the great sword. Um, we have the onslaught hammer, and we have the great dragon bow. These weapons are ginormous. I'm not really sure about the black lightsaber. And you know, see, there's the bow, sword, hammer. Yeah, black lightsaber is normal, but onslaught hammer is just amazing. Great sword is amazing, and the great. Blah, blah, blah. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Now that I think about it. I think I wasn't thinking about it at the time, but this actually happens when you right-click with this. Just somehow it's called the black lightsaber. I'm not really sure on that. That's why it confused me. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah, when you right-click with this, you're going to get that. Anyways, so yeah, these three, though, aren't implemented in the game, and they are just amazingly, awesomely giant. Reminds me of RPG Inventory, I believe, is the mod that has, like, giant weapons. Anyways, these are going to be awesome when he implements them. They're the best weapons that he's made so far for the mod. You just can't make them yet or find them or anything like that. Anyways, next up, we have the backside. Whew, we're almost done with this. Oh, crap. Just a second. Here's steel. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. I am a bit unorganized, as you can see. This mod um, is really big, so it just took me a while to get my stuff together, I guess is what I could say. So, yeah, anyways, I did. did I? All right, sorry again. Um, yeah, lava buckets, yeah. So, I'm just a bit unorganized. I'm doing this at, like, 1 in the morning, and I'm a bit um, tired, I guess is what you could say. But, yeah, so, um, here's the crafting recipes for the armor. The two armors that you can, that I figured out that you can actually craft. So, the Death Stench Hood um, is made by, you know those skeletons, these guys here, that are running around with their hoods on, looking all pretty. Um, you need the Rift Dark Leather that you get from them. You're going to need eight of that and one Veteran Skull in order to make the um, Death Stench Hood. And then, um, the rest of these are all going to be Skeleton Skulls. Only the uh, helmet, or only the, yeah, only the helmet, the hood, I guess, has a Veteran Skull. Alright, so, um, and then it's smelted, or forged with a uh, lava bucket. For the chest plate, you're going to need three ebony ingots, four of the ripped dark leather, and two skeleton skulls. Okay, and that's forged with a lava bucket. For the pants, you're going to need five of the ripped leather, two skeleton skulls, and two of the eye, or the steel bones. And then for, or, and then that's forged with a um, lava bucket. And then for the boots, you're going to need four of the steel bones and five of the ripped leather, uh, ripped dark leather. And then that is also forged with a lava bucket. So this is going to be really expensive with lava in that sense. This one's probably going to be more expensive overall because of all the ebony it takes. Because I'm not sure how rare ebony is, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty rare. So yeah, that pretty much concludes it for all the weapons and armor. Um, I'll show you guys a few more things, and then that should be it for this showcase. So, um, let's see here. First of all, I want to say that there are some really cool structures that generate. Um, this one's the main one. That's just kind of random everywhere. As you can see, there's a bone, and then there, this is where you find the broken katanas, things like that. I believe I saw one over the hill of the exact same thing. All right, I found a few down here in this mountain range. So this one here has a broken katana, two broken katanas, rotten flesh, and bones. And there's one up here. I'm not going to stop the video this time because this one's so close. Um... And then this one's just bones around flesh. So as you can see, they're not that nice, but I mean, you can find bones, you can find rotten flesh, you can find katanas. Yeah, that's about it. I'm um, looking to see if I can find like a meteor crash. Like, boring bones and flesh. So, I mean, it's not, those things aren't the best, but, you know. Um, let's see, meteor crash site, where are you? Actually, you know what, I'll stop looking for that. I will let you guys explore that and find that on your own. And I will show you um, one last time, really, more or less. Um, I'm going to show you the, if I can ever find them. What, what can I find? Ah, uh, because they're in decoration, which is just weird. I'm going to bring my work with me, and I will show you all of these items right here. So, we have the Wither Altar. Um, this one is crafted with three Wither Skeleton Skulls, one Cauldron, and five Obsidian. 
And as you can see, it's not actually colored and textured yet. And when you like open it up, it's just a pretty much a smelter. Um, and so yeah, it's it's symbolizes kind of a blur skeleton. It'll look a lot cooler when they finish coloring it and things like that. But yeah, so left front, you know. Yeah, that's what that does so far. See, and all these that say W um, WIP are not actually really implemented. They're not really used. This one's kind of cool though. The chimney smelter. So pretty much it's just smelter. Looks like a chimney. Pretty cool. Um, smelter itself. This one's pretty useful. This is how you make all of those red, um, or not red, uh, yeah, redstone ingots, the black ingots, all of those ingots you can just use by smelting. So yeah, you just need any half slabs, I guess, um, and then a cauldron, and that will give you a smelter. So yeah, and they're just pretty much a smelter. Um, yeah, next is the dragon forge. So it's kind of cool. Reminds me of the hobbit in a way. Um, but yeah. And then this one's crafted with the Ender Dragon Skull, two blocks of steel, one crafting table, and three flame sacks. And this one is really confusing in my opinion. So you can take it out and you can put these in here for the Dragon Forge to do things with. And it doesn't really work yet. Like, there's no, like, way to use it that I've really found, which is why it's not really implemented. Anyways, the last one here is the Forge, which is the most important in the game. And so I'm going to show this one last, so stick in your brains. Um... Yeah, so this one is crafted with seven cobblestone, one crafting table, and one furnace, and that will give you the forge. And that is how you make all your main weapons, put them in here, put the amount of coal they need, and then you will get your awesome weapons for Cersei's weapons. So yeah, um, one more time, let me set this today. And since it is set today, there's our beautiful skeletons and our beautiful pumpkin men. Yeah, anyways, so yeah, since it has now been set today... I would like to say thank you all so much for watching. Um, leave a like if you like this, just because this mod showcase took a really long time to set up, and it is about 27 minutes long. I mean, there's a reason, because it took so long to set up. I'm sorry I was a little bit unorganized on this. This is probably the longest mod showcase I've ever done. So, yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day.